Hello everybody, welcome to Bootstrap Workbench. Today I wanted to talk about the uh, MFJ993 antenna tuner. Uh, to give you a little bit of information about it, it is a uh, 300 watt uh, antenna tuner that matches from 6 to 1600 ohms, or in the 150 watt mode it will match from 6 to 3200 ohms, uh, which is basically a uh, 32 to 1 at 300 watts, or a 64 to 1 at uh, 150 watts. Uh, there are 20,000 uh, non-volatile memories in the tuner uh, that are organized into four banks. Uh, the memory uh, frequency coverage is 1.8 to 30 megahertz. Uh, so if you're looking for a 6 meter tuner, this is not going to be the one, but uh, it's great for uh, regular HF usage. Uh, lighted cross needle, uh, as well as uh, backlit LCD. Uh, it also has uh, automatic, semi-automatic, and uh, manual functionality. Uh, it also operates as an antenna switch. There are two uh, SO239 antenna jacks on the back of the unit. There is also a uh, 4 to 1 current balance for balanced wire antennas. Uh, now to use that, uh, basically what you end up doing is uh, you uh, bypass the usage of one of the two SO239 jacks. So you can either have <coughs> two unbalanced antennas or one balanced antenna and one uh, unbalanced antenna. All right, uh, let's see here, what else do we have? There's an optional remote control unit. I don't have one of those so I can't review it. Uh, you can also get optional radio interface cables. Uh, for the IC7300, I built the radio interface cable that I'm using. So, uh, let's say that you've picked one of these up. The first thing that you're going to want to do is probably either delete all the antenna memories or do a total reset of the unit. Uh, to show you how to do that, you'll power the unit off and then to delete just the antenna memories you'll hold down the tune and see down buttons while you power on. You'll get a message that says delete antenna 2 and you can press C up. Now you'll also want to do the other antenna so we'll switch to one, power off, hold down C down and tune, power on, delete antenna one, C up for yes. Now that's just going to delete your uh, antenna memories. For a total reset of the unit, uh, which erases all the antenna memories and resets the unit to factory defaults, what you'll do is press and hold down the tune, C down, and L down buttons. which can be fun, and then power on, and you'll get a message that says total reset. Yes, up, or sorry, C up, no, L up. So we'll do yes. And now the unit is totally reset. So we'll power back on. At this point, depending on uh, what kind of connectivity you have to your radio, uh, this is very easy. Uh, it can be a little bit more difficult. So the mode that I'm in right now, I'm on, I'm going to go on to antenna 2, that's where I have my HF antenna connected. I'll turn my uh, AF gain down there. Sorry. Uh, auto is uh, in the out position. And so what I'll do is uh, I can key up my radio. In this case I'm going to key up uh, with around 15 watts on uh, CW and sticky tune is on so the unit's going to try to automatically tune which it did uh, so what we're seeing is uh, 3917 for the frequency forward power is 16 watts reflected wire, uh, power is uh, 0 0.4 watts and our SWR is 1.3 we can also look at other information by cycling through mode So, uh, that is uh, a pretty quick way of doing it if you don't have an interface cable from the radio to the unit. Now, if you do happen to have an interface cable, let me plug mine in here, hopefully. I'm trying to do this uh, blind. There we go, very good. I'm going to 
power both of these units off and then power them back on. I usually power on the radio first. And I'm running firmware 1.14 on my IC7300. All right, so we're up and we still have the uh, auto button in the out position. I'm transmitting into it. Uh, we've already got a good match. Let me change the match by adjusting my manual tuner that's just before the antenna. There we go. So we're tuned up again. The other thing that we can do is uh, we can press the tuner button on the front of the IC7300. And we're back in good match. Now, uh, if we wanted to switch to another frequency, let's switch to a, an entire another band. Let me readjust my tuner here. I have a Heathkit SA2040 that uh, sits in between my amplifier and my antenna. I'm running an 80 meter loop. And uh, that's because the uh, MFJ993 only handles a maximum of 300 watts. And uh, my amplifier puts out uh, around 650. So that's why I have multiple tuners. Um, I, I like having the MFJ993 in line so I can use it as an antenna switch. It also gives me uh, additional information about uh, how I'm running. So, uh, since we're on 7.210, I've got my Heathkit SA2040 set correctly for that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch to CW mode. And I have my mic set so that I can hold down the uh, left mic button, which is down, and it'll give me uh, continuous CW transmit. I have information on how to do that in another one of my videos. All of my videos will be linked below. So, I'm going to go ahead and key up. Alright, so our SWR is greater than 1.5. What we need to do here is we're just outside of where we're going to be able to match. So, Give me just a moment here. Let me adjust a couple of things. And we'll try this again. All right. Let's see here. Okay, so what I did is I, I made a small adjustment to my Heathkit SA2040 uh, that brought me within the range of the MFJ993. Uh, one thing that you're going to be looking at on the uh, IC7300, it has a built-in uh, automatic tuner, but it has a, a fairly narrow range. I think it's a 3 to 1 or 4 to 1, uh, whereas this one will tune out to uh, 32 to 1 at 300 watts or uh, 64 to 1 uh, at uh, 150 watts. So uh, this is a good choice for, uh, for doing something like that. So another feature that this has is that you can uh, bypass tuning. Uh, you'll see here it says bypass on the front panel by pressing and holding C down and L down or uh, you can press uh, tune for less than half a second. When you do that, you'll see the reflected jump up. Uh, a lot of indications you get on this unit come through uh, the cross needles. So now uh, we're in a straight through mode and if I key up, We can even change frequency. There's no response from the tuner because it's bypassed. To reset that, you can power off and power back on. We're going to press tune and we're back to 1.0 to 1. So uh, that's the basics of the MFJ993. Uh, like I said, you can use it as a um, manual tuner. But I've never really done that. Um, I do have the Heathkit SA2040 uh, up above uh, that I use for uh, basically gross tuning. And then uh, I use the MFG993 uh, for fine tuning. In fact, a lot of the times, uh, a lot of the time what happens is uh, it, I go from the ICOM7300 to the MFJ, and then the MFJ goes to the uh, SB200. And I just basically use the MFJ to uh, 
tune uh, the input impedance of the uh, SB200. Uh, since it was designed for tubes, the SB200 uh, it has a wider uh, input impedance that changes from band to band, so sometimes it's handy to have a, uh, a tuner in line before the amplifier. Then from the amplifier, I go to the uh, WM1 computing watt meter, and then uh, from there I go to the uh, SA2040 tuner and out to the 80 meter loop, uh, which is not very high, but it works well enough. It's an Envis antenna. Uh, most of my 75 80 meter operating is uh, regional nets anyway, so that's not a big issue. But uh, that pretty much covers the basics of it. Uh, if you start having issues, uh, do a uh, power off, power on. If you're still having issues, do a uh, memory reset, and uh, beyond that, do a full reset. Uh, that's my advice. The other thing that you can do, uh, let's see here, for power on operations, if you want to know what firmware you have, power the unit off, hold down C up, and power on the unit. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Our firmware version is 0422. As soon as we really see up, the unit finishes booting up. Another thing that we can do if we want to initiate a self-test is we can hold L up and power. And it tells us copyright 2003, 2004, MFJ Enterprises, so basically it just scrolls across the uh, LCD, lets us know that that's working correctly. Power on. If we want to test our relays, hold down C down and power on. It says relay test. And we have the option of which relays we want to test. So, sounds like all the relays are working inside the unit. Uh, if we want to test the power down circuitry, we can hold down L down and power. And in fact, on this unit, it's telling us that the power down circuitry has failed. So that's something I'll need to look at. Interesting. Uh, to calibrate the watt meter, uh, press and hold C down, C up and power on. I've never done that, so uh, I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, let's see here. We can calibrate the SWR bridge by doing power and holding C up, L up. We can adjust the audio output audio volume by uh, pressing and holding down L up, L down, and power. Uh, we can calibrate the frequency counter by pressing and holding C down, L down, and power. Uh, we can delete a selected antenna memory by holding down Tune, C down, Ant, and Power. We can reset the factory defaults, which we've already covered, by holding down Tune, L down, and Power. And uh, we can perform a total reset by holding down Tune, C down, L down, and Power. Interesting. All right. So that, uh, that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions, let me know, uh, comments as well, down below. Uh, if uh, you have any suggestions for future videos, uh, let me know down there as well. Make sure to uh, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification icon for uh, future notifications about my videos. I hope you found this video informative, and uh, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.